Welcome back to Zombie Side Black Plague. We're playing Quest 2, The Black Book. Up first is Nelly. She has that nice chaos longbow. I think she's going to use it. It has a range of 0 to 3. Rolls 4 dice, hits on a 4 plus, doing 2 damage per hit. Uh, she's in the red zone right now, she's right here. And she has a free combat action is what she chose. So she's going to use her free combat action to make a longbow shot into the horde here. So it's only one, two spaces away. She's going to be rolling four dice uh, to do. Let's see if she can hit. And she gets two hits. Uh, so that's going to take out a couple of walkers. Now she's right at the red zone, so she can't get any more experience. Uh, that was her free combat action. And I think uh, she's probably going to take... Uh, I wonder if she should take another shot to thin out the horde there. I think she better take one more action to thin out this horde. Whoa, the die goes flying and she gets another couple of hits. So that's going to be two more walkers. Uh, all right, she has a free move action. Uh, and she has three more actions. And I'm not sure what she wants to do. I think she'll just take her free move to here. She has three more actions. One, two, three. <clears throat> Excuse me. She's still going to take another shot with the Chaos Bow into that horn, thin it out a bit. And wow, she ends up getting Dragon Fire because when you get four hits in a row with that bow, uh, so she basically blows up everything in that zone, takes out the entire horde. So that was pretty good. And I think she still has one action remaining. Uh, and so what does she want to do? Uh, we've got to get moving, so she'll just take her final action and move here. And that'll be it. Alright, that's it for Nelly. Wow, that Chaos Bow can be extremely powerful when all four dice hit. Alright, up next is Arnod, and he's got that Vampiric Crossbow. So he's right here. He will take uh, the first of its two actions, one, two, for, uh, four actions to move here. And he'll use the Vampiric Crossbow to shoot at these Deadeye Walkers. So it rolls two dice, hits on a four plus. And he does not get a hit on that attack, so he will try it again. And he doesn't get a hit on that one either. Wow, no luck there. Um, and, well, he has a free move action, in fact, so he will get one more action, so he'll shoot again. And he gets, finally, one hit to take down one walker. That's going to put him up to 32 experience, and that's going to be the end of our nod. Up next will be Anne, so let me just readjust the camera a bit, and we're going to have Anne take her. All right, we have a decision to make with Anne. We probably should open this door. Uh... And I think we're going to leave the, la the three Deadeye Walkers here to uh, ha we'll have Baldric and LB the Dwarf deal with them. So let's have Anne go down here and try and open that door. So she's got four actions. So one, two will be to move here. She has two actions remaining. Um, and she has a free melee action. But attacking a door is not a melee, uh, but she's going to see if she can knock it down with the Axe of Carnage. Uh, so this will be her third action, rolls four dice, hits on a four plus. Oh yeah, there was no doubt that that door was going down. So the door is smashed open easily. But now we've got a spawn in this room in the red zone, which is two runners. Okay, that shouldn't be much of a problem for Anne. So two runners. She has a free melee action uh, and she has one action remaining. So her last action she's going to do bloodlust. So she's going to run into this room with her axe of carnage and attack these two runners. Wow, she is the killing machine. She takes those guys out with no problem. That will be her free melee action. It would make Oh no, that was her bloodlust. She has a free melee action, uh, which she can't use because there's nobody to melee. So that's going to give her a couple more experience, up to 27. And that will end her turn because she uh, has a free melee action, but she can't use it. 
Up next is Baldrick. All right, Baldrick, do your stuff. Uh, he's going to move here, and he gets a plus. He gets a spellcaster, which means he can do a free magic attack, and he has plus one free magic action. So he can use his disintegrate spell twice uh, against these guys. Uh, and the disintegrate spell is rolling three dice, hits on a five plus. So let's see if he can take those dead eye walkers down. So rolling three dice, hits on five plus. And in typical Baldric fashion, he misses this first free attack. So that's not gonna do him any good. Let's see if he can do something else. All right, so he gets two hits here. Taking out two Deadeye Walkers. That's his second free uh, magic attack. So he's got, <clears throat> he moved, sorry, one. He still has three actions left. Might as well keep using Disintegrate. And he misses again. Two actions remaining. Come on, Baldrick. There he gets a five. Takes out the Deadeye Walker. Still has one action to go. Um... One action to go, and that range is zero to one. So with his one action to go, I don't know what he wants to do. Um, hmm. I think, well, can he exchange with anybody? What does he have that he can exchange? He has a hammer, but I think he wants to hang on to it. And so I think he's just going to give up that final action. And up last will be the dwarf. LB the Dwarf, he's got four actions, and he has plus one free melee action. So he's just going to go one, two, three. Or uh, does he want to do that? One, two, three. Hmm. I think he's just going to go one, two, three. Ah, he'll go in the room with Anne. Maybe he'll do a search next turn. Nobody's been able to pick up this uh, uh, token yet, which I suppose is good because there are green spawn zones up here. If this is green... The green spawn zone is going to activate. All right, we're going to zoom out. We're going to have the remaining zombies move, and then it's going to be spawned. Uh, all right, all the zombies are going to move. So the fatty's going to move here. These three fatties will move there. And then the dead eye walker will move there. And we've got a little group of walkers up here moving down. All right, now it's spawn time. Just move the camera up a little bit so we can get all the spawn points in. We're in the red zone. Red zone starting here, we get three fatties. Okay, these guys are coming on quickly. Uh, there's not so many fatties in the game. There's only about 12 or something. So if we get them all on the board, every time you pull a card with a fatty on it, then it would be an activation for all fatties. All right, in the north, we have, okay, we have a necromancer showing up. That is not good because that adds another spawn point, which will then immediately spawn in the red up north with him. He comes along with three fatties as well. So, yeah, I don't know. That's uh, getting a little worried about how many fatties we're getting. But uh, we'll deal with that when we have to. And final spawn point here in the red is going to be four dead eye walkers. Well, I think they're going to be four dead dead eye walkers here very soon so that's basically uh, that's basically the turn so again we'll do one more turn each uh, and uh, that'll be the end of the episode so up first uh, for our next turn will be Arnod all right up first is Arnod he's right here he has that nice vampiric crossbow which rolls two dice hits and a four plus uh, doing three damage per hit has a range of one to two, which is nice because he can shoot at these three fatties right here and uh, That's what I think he's going to do. So he's gonna roll two dice He's going to attack the three fatties just at the top of the screen here. So his first attack and what does he have? He has a free move action and So he has four actions. All right first action he gets one hit It's gonna take down one fatty that's going to give him 33 experience. He still has three actions left, so he'll just keep shooting at those guys. He gets another one taken down, uh, taking him to 34 experience. He might as well shoot again. And he, this time he gets two hits, but he only needs one hit to take him down. That was three actions, up to 35 experience. 
and he might as well uh, what's he gonna he might as well shoot at this fatty as well he'll give that a try and two threes is a miss is a free move action uh, we don't know if this is a blue key here or a green one so i think with this free move action he's just not going to do anything so that's going to be his turn up next we have Anne. Now I don't know if Anne should... I think Anne's going to flip this over. Uh, boy, it could be the green. If it's green, we're going to get another spawn point in the north. Yeah, we're going to have to do it. Anne's going to get... Okay, it's blue. Alright, it's a blue key. That gives her 5 experience. From 27 up to 32. And 32 experience. And we now have the key to unlock the blue door. Alright. That was Anne's first action. She has a free melee action. Alright, so that was her first action. Her second action is to move here. Her third action is to go in here with Bloodlust. Rolling four dice, hitting on a four plus, doing three hits, taking out three of these Dead Eye Walkers, taking her one to up to 35 experience. Um, she has a one more action and a free melee action. So for her free melee action, she will use the Carnage Axe on this guy, taking him out easily, taking her to 36 experience. Her final action is to open this door. I think we got to get this door open. we got to get down into the vaults. And I suppose the vault is way at the back here. So we have one, two, three rooms in here. So she's going to open that door with the axe. And... She rolls 1-6. Wow, so it wasn't easy to open that door, but she did. Um, and this door is sticky. Okay, it was a hard door to open. Opens the door. we got a spawn in this room. That was her last action. So one, two, three spawns in the red. We get two runners in the first room. Okay, that's probably going to be fairly easily dealt with. Second room along is five walkers okay uh oh, they're doing a cheerleading pyramid or something here boy they are really stuck together all right there we go one two three and a couple more four five and we have one final spawn in the big room at the back in the red zone and we have five more walkers okay it's just a big pile of walkers along here. Not too big of a deal, I don't think. So that's that. Anne has now finished her turn. Up next we have Baldric. And then we have Baldric, then LB, then Nelly. Alright. Well, what's Baldric going to do? Baldric has two free uh, spell abilities. So he's going to go one, two actions and move right in here. And then he has two free spell casting. So he's going to use his Disintegrate, rolling three dice, hitting on a five plus. And he gets two hits, so he takes the two runners down with one shot. So that was his first free spell cast. His second free spell cast will be to shoot at these guys a little farther along. And he gets a six and four, taking two of them down. Uh, so that's going to give him a total of 4 experience, 25 to 29. And how many actions does he have left? I think he has one more action left. I, so he did 2 free. So 1-2 to move. That was his 2 free uh, uh, spell casting ability. So now he has, hey, he has 2 actions left. So he'll keep firing here. So the second attack does 2 more. And his final disintegrate attack into that area gets the last one. Three more experience for Baldrick. 29 to 32. Good stuff. Wow, we're powered up pretty heavily here. That's going to be the end of Baldrick. Up next is LB the Dwarf. Um, we've got to get rid of this Necromancer, but I think Nelly with her... Oh, it's the Chaos... No, the Chaos Bow hits does two damage per hit. So Nelly should be able to take that guy out with the Chaos Bow. Uh, I don't really want to split us up too much. So what are we going to do with LB the Dwarf? I think LB the Dwarf is going to... He has a, a free melee combat. So he's going to take one action to move there. 
he has a free melee action. So his free melee action, he has the Bastard Sword, which is going to roll two dice, hitting on a four plus, doing two damage per hit. And he misses that with his free melee action. Uh, and that's not LB the Dwarf. That is not LB the Dwarf. LB the Dwarf is here. So I, <laughs> I mean, rethink this. None of that happened. That's uh, Arnaud. All right, LB the Dwarf uh, is going to, wow, this is a little tough. He's going to go one, two, three actions into here. Now he has his free combat action. Uh, so let's see if he can hit that fatty. And he does. So takes him down with his free combat action. He has one more move. And that only takes him to 23 experience. He has one more move. He might as well move back here because we have to get through this blue door and down into the crypts eventually. Up last is Nelly. And she has a free free move and a free combat action so for her free move she's going to move here if you can see this and her free combat action she's going to shoot at the necromancer and the three uh, fatties right at that spawn point try and take that necromancer out four dice hits on a four plus and she gets one hit so the fatty will go down that was her one free combat action so now she has, <clears throat> excuse me, four regular actions. She used her free move, free combat, so four regular actions with the Chaos Bolt. She'll, she'll keep shooting. So this is her first of four. Wow. A miss, but she has plenty of arrows. So she will re-roll all of those dice. She only gets one more hit. Takes out a fatty. Now her second action, she'll keep firing. Got to get rid of that Necromancer. And only one hit. She's going to re-roll that as well with plenty of arrows. Come on, more hits. No, it's three hits. Taking down the Necromancer and the Fatty. That gets rid of that spawn point. That's excellent. She still has uh, two more actions left. She's going to fire twice in here with the Chaos Bow. First attack is one hit. Does she want to re-roll it? Yeah, she'll re-roll that. Rolling it. And she gets three. That's better. I'm not adding experience to her because she's already into the red zone. And her last action, we the fire in there again. And she gets all hits. Dragon fire actually erupts in there. Boy, that bow is a little bit overpowered, but I like it. And that's going to be the end of Nelly. So I do believe, uh, wow, we are just cleaning up the streets. All right, I'm going to zoom out. We're going to have uh, zombies move and then spawn, and that will be the end of this episode. I know this is a very long series. It's taken us a long time to find a key to get into these doors, but uh, I think with the uh, items we have, the abilities we have now, we're actually in pretty good shape. All right, so let's uh, zoom out and get spawning. All right, zombies move. Well, the Deadeye Walker... And the three fatties are all going to converge into this space. And all we have left are these five walkers, which are going to be coming for uh, Baldric, which they don't make it. All right, now we got to spawn uh, into the red zone. And luckily, we didn't get the green uh, key. We got the blue one, so we're not going to get that extra spawn point. So the first spawn is over here. Three runners are going to show up. Okay, that's good. The quicker they can get to us, the quicker we can get rid of them. So three runners showing up here. All right, in the north, in the red zone, we have eight walkers. Well, okay, it's a job for the chaos bow, I think. One, two, wow, three, three, four, wow, these things are piling up. Five, six... Seven. That's a lot of walkers to show up in one spot. All right, and our last spawn point right here in the red, right with Anne, is two fatties. Oh yeah, as if that's going to give her any problems. One, two fatties. All right, and I do believe, unless I've made mistakes, uh, which I hopefully will have left notes, uh, I think at this point my mistakes are probably having to do with me missing actions for characters because they have so many abilities now. I have to try to keep track of everyone's 
abilities and how many extra actions and free this is and free that's and there you have it all right well that's uh that's pretty good we're uh we're progressing now we're through the blue door we have to get down into the vault steal both vault items get the uh, black book and we'll win this mission so thanks so much for watching along this is zombieside black plague i uh, really appreciate your comments and uh, wow i can't believe if you've uh, stuck out this long so far in the series thanks so much it's been a very long series had a bit of a slow start trying to find the keys so once again thanks for your comments your subscriptions your likes really appreciate it and thanks for watching along this is zombieside black plague quest 2 with Baldrick's bumbling band trying to get that black book and get rid of it. So thanks so much for watching along and we'll see you next time.